Hi SAMAC, my name is Ashley and I'm a member of the Macadamia Protection Program, which is a SAMAC funded research group. Our aim is to reduce losses caused by pests and diseases. My work in particular focuses on nut borers in South African macadamia orchards. In order to control these pests, we need to understand their life cycle, since the various biological control options available target the different life stages. One particularly useful control tactic is the use of pheromone based products. These products target the adult moth stage and can offer an environmentally friendly and effective means of both monitoring as well as controlling pest populations. There are pheromone products available for the two main moth species reported on macadamia, namely macadamia nut borer, or MNB, and false codling moth, or FCM. However, based on personal communication with farmers, these products do not seem to be 100% effective and may not always be species specific. My PhD project will address this issue. In order to develop effective pheromone based products, some groundwork needed to be done. Firstly, we needed to know which moth species is responsible for causing the majority of the damage to macadamia, and so which pheromone to focus on. During our survey, we identified larvae from nuts collected in Mapumalanga, KwaZulu Natal, and Limpopo for two consecutive growing seasons. We found that the major moth pest of macadamia in these regions is MNB. MNB accounted for over 95% of the larvae, while FCM accounted for less than 3%. No lychee or carob moth larvae were obtained from nuts during our survey. However, because pest populations are dynamic and can change over time, regular monitoring is required. Identification based on morphology can be tricky, particularly with early instar larvae or degraded specimen. Therefore, we developed molecular tools for rapid identification of these moths. Please feel free to use our diagnostic clinic services and send in moth samples. My team and I are happy to identify them for you. Secondly, to develop an effective pheromone for MNB, we needed to establish a working artificial rearing protocol. This will ensure that we have the adult moths required for pheromone research and it can potentially serve as a constant source of moths for us to experiment with throughout the year. So far, we have successfully reared MNB eggs to adults under laboratory conditions using our modified artificial diet, and we are currently working on achieving a second generation. In addition, we can also use the artificially reared population of MNB to develop a degree day model, which can help us predict the number of generations per season in the different growing areas. This can help us optimize the timing of control events. Thus far, we have characterized the basic life cycle of MNB at 23 degrees Celsius. We have now completed the necessary steps that provide a foundation for my pheromone research. We look forward to sharing with you our progress regarding the MNB pheromones as we go. Thank you and keep well.